Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss on the rectifiers. In this module, we are basically discussing on the control rectifiers. In order to have a phase control rectifiers, we need to use a device which we are having a control over the turn on or during the turn off or both. So in the first case, we are having our discussion based on the SCR's silicon control rectifiers, basically known as a thyristor. And we should also have the understanding of how a normal diode is working. Okay, so first we will have a just brush up on the normal diode. So this is a symbol of a normal diode. So just imagine that you are giving a, a alternating current to a load. That means you have an input, you have an output. So this is your input waveform and your output waveform it will be looking like it has its output during the positive half cycles why because your device gets turned on that is this trans thyristor sorry this, this diode gets turned on during the positive half cycle because it is forward biased and during the negative half cycle the diode is reverse biased so the device will be in the turn off mode so therefore your output waveform will be like this so you can just observe that neither in the positive half cycle nor in the negative half cycle you do not have any control over that particular device okay so that means this diode is nothing but a uncontrolled device it will get turned on when the device is forward biased and it will get turned off when the device is reverse biased. Now we are going to discuss the operation of a controlled rectifiers. In the case of a controlled rectifiers, we cannot use a diode and therefore we have to use a device where we are having a control over the process of turning on or turning off or both. Now first we will be using an SCR which is used for explaining the controlled rectifier devices. So uh, the symbol of an SCR is like this and this device it can be turned on at any instant of time when the device is forward biased. But in the case of a diode the device could get turned on by the time the device get forward biased. But even though the device in the case of an SCR, even though the device is forward biased, you can control the instant at which the device gets turned on or get it triggered. So just imagine that you are having applying a sensor waveform and then you are having a load. So you are having your input waveform and you are having your output waveform. So this is your input waveform. So this is your input and now you need to plot the output waveform. Now the speciality with your uh, control rectifiers is that when you are using the thyristor, the, this thyristor get turned on at any instant of time when the device is getting forward based that is during this region. Once your SCR is forward based you can turn on the thyristor at an instant of time that is why it is known as a controlled rectifier. Now in order to turn on the device you can use a forward voltage triggering, you can use the gate triggering, you can use the DV by DT triggering or any other methodologies which are existing. But in many of the cases we are preferring the gate triggering that is the best and suitable way of turning on the thyristor. And therefore here you will be using a thyristor whose breakover voltage is much much greater than the value of the voltage to which you are connecting this SCR. Therefore the forward voltage triggering will not be happening in this particular device. So now the when the device is forward biased, when the device is forward biased, then you can apply a gate voltage in order to turn on the device by giving the gate positive with respect to your cathode negative. 
that means you are trying to apply a gate voltage over here so when you are giving a gate voltage so you can give the gate voltage at any instant of time it can be at the zero it can be at uh, 5 by 4 5 by 2 like that at any instant between 0 to 5 so just imagine that I am applying the gates signal at 5 by 4 let it be like this so this is nothing but your VG that is the gate voltage that means your device will get turned on at 5 by 4 now if I am plotting your output waveform the device is getting turned on over here therefore it will be replicating the same waveform of your voltage from pi by 4 to pi so at this instant we will be defining one term that is known as the firing angle which is denoted by alpha so here i will denote that alpha as this one this is nothing but your alpha so your firing angle alpha is nothing but the angle between the instant the thyristor would conduct if it were a diode and the instant it is triggered so if it was a diode it would have get turned on at this instant but we are having a control of the device to make it turn on at a, any instant of time when it is forward biased that is this period so this alpha it can be varied this alpha it can be varied and that alpha at this instant we can say so our discussions were at at pi by 4 so here it is pi by 4 so it can be pi by 2 it can be 3 pi by 4 like that any value it can obtain now in order to get our device turned off the two things has to be met one is the device has to be reverse biased and your anode current should be less than your holding current so this is the instant when your device gets turned off so understanding the concept of the reverse biased condition and the current lesser than your holding current is also uh, important in order to in order for our further discussions so so to have our future discussions uh, please get revised through how your device is getting turned off which you have discussed during our static iv characteristics <laughs>